Danielle from Oasis Lactation Services and today we're going to talk about pumped milk storage and in particular I want to talk about what to do if you feel like your milk is going off, is spoiling pretty quickly. Um, one of the problems that a lot of women report is that their milk tastes either soapy or metallic or kind of skunky really quickly and maybe their baby doesn't take it. One of the theories a lot of these moms come to me with is that they have excessive or very active lipase in their milk. Lipase is an enzyme that helps break down the fats and all moms have it in their milk. Some moms though tend to have lipase that more quickly breaks down fats in pumped milk. This doesn't happen in the breast. In the breast everything stays fresh as possible. But once the milk comes out of the body, the lipase sometimes gets really active and starts to break down those fats. Now it's not changing the nutritional safety or components of the milk. So the milk is still perfect and ideal for the baby to drink. However, this lipase is changing the flavor of the milk. And since that flavor has changed, some moms worry that the milk is unsafe to drink or that the baby won't take it. In most situations, having a little extra more active lipase in the milk is not an issue for feeding the baby. The baby can continue to take it. Usually it's just a flavor problem. So one of the things that moms want to know is how fast might this happen to my milk? And this is a really tricky question to answer because all mom's milk is variable. Um, how do I know if my milk is going to last two hours on the counter or four hours on the counter. And if we go by the CDC guidelines or the La Leche League guidelines, those guidelines might not be specific to how quickly your milk changes flavor. So if you do not have this book, this is The Womanly Art of Breastfeeding by La Leche League, go get this book. This book will just rock your world. It's full of science, it's full of good information, it's true, um, and it's helpful. And in the back, there are all these tear sheets um, information on pumping, ways to log pumping, um, information on how to talk to your daycare provider about feeding babies um, your milk. And so they have a milk storing guideline, and this is for healthy, full-term babies. Preemie milk is sometimes handled differently, so you'll need to talk with your um, NICU team about that or your pediatrician about that. But these guidelines are for healthy, full-term babies. And it says right here that room temperature milk four to eight hours, so we leave it room temperature. And room temperature is defined as 60 to six to 78 degrees Fahrenheit. This doesn't mean that you can pump and sit on your porch on a hot sunny day, right? Um, in the refrigerator, they also say three to eight days. So for some of us moms, those guidelines kind of fall outside of how quickly our milk will change flavor. So what do we do to determine? I'm quite conservative. I always go by the rule of threes. Three hours on the counter, three days in the fridge. Um, some moms will go by sixes. The best way to know if this lipase issue is affecting you or if your milk is just spoiling quickly is to do a little test. So here's how to do the test. Sharpie marker is our first high-tech tool. I've got a whole bunch of little paper cups here um, and I'm going to have a counter set and a refrigerator set. So I'm just gonna mark these cups. This is gonna be my one hour cup. Put this right here on my counter. This is gonna be my three hour cup. And then this is gonna be my six hour cup. And then I have a tray of cups that I've already made here. I've got a one hour, a three hour, a six, a 12, a 24, a 36, and a 48. And so I'm gonna take my pumped milk, take the flange off here, and I'm just gonna eyeball like maybe a quarter ounce in each cup. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and taste this milk. So this is not something you can do if you're in and out of the house all day. Um, I'm gonna set my kitchen timer, and I'm gonna reset it after each milk. And you know, if the timer's going off and it's uh, baby's crying, handle the baby first. Get my other bottle of milk. This one's a little watery looking. 
Doesn't mean that it has less fat. That's just the way it looks when it was pumped today. Because milk is variable, right? That's why we're doing this test. So, and it feels terrible to waste all of this milk. You'll make more. We got my tray. I'm gonna stick my tray in my fridge and have a shelf cleared before you start this because it's really obnoxious to carry all that stuff around. Okay, so I'm going to test my milk. After I set my timer for one hour, I'm gonna take a little sip. And if it still tastes good, I know that one hour on the counter is totally fine. I don't have a light pace issue in my milk. Then I'm gonna set for two more hours for my three hour cup and see what happens. And then I'm going to, after I finish that, I'm gonna set for three more hours and try my six hour cup. I'm also going to try my fridge milk to see what happens with it. And then I will know what applies to me, which could be very, very different from what applies to you. So this is just one way that you can test your milk. It's not super scientific, but you know, kitchen medicine is one of the things that moms have to deal with every day. And if you have other questions about what to do about lipase in your milk or milk storage, you can visit our website, oasislactationservices.com. We have information on La Leche League guidelines, CDC guidelines, World Health Organization guidelines for milk storage, um, because transporting pumped milk is definitely something that most moms have to do. Also, like us on Facebook, Oasis Lactation Services, and check out our events and see if you can come to one of our Milk and Cookies Mom Meetups. We would love to see you.